In this tutorial, we will learn all the options available in locked command. At first, we will create some profiles which can be used for locked. I will create one polygon. Click here, select the polygon, give the number of sides, give the center point, give the method. I will use inscribe, give the radius, how much you want, enter. Then I will create one circle at the center, track the point and give the center point, give the radius and I will create one rectangle. Then click here and switch to 3D modeling. Click on 3D modeling. Then click on this unsaved view and select SC isometric. Then to move this XYZ icon, give the UCS icon command. UCS icon, enter, choose the no origin. Click on this 2D wireframe, click on shade it. Then move this profile, then give the move command, M, enter. Then select the profile. I will choose this circle. Enter. Give the base point. Give the direction. Make orthon. Give the direction and give the distance. Same way again. Enter. Select this profile. Enter. Give the base point and give the direction and give the height. Then we will keep the copy of this object to try one more method. Give the CO. Enter. Select the object. Enter. Give the base point. Make orthon and keep it on the side. Press escape. Then you can give loft command from here. Click here and select loft. Then select the cross sections. You want to connect by loft. Then press enter. Then we want to connect this cross section only. Click on this cross section only. Using loft you can connect multiple profile. And if you change the sequence of selection for loft, it will create different object. Again I will click on loft. Then select the cross section. I want to connect this with this one. And again I want to connect this with this one. Then press the enter. Select the cross section. So here it has created a different object. In this way you can change the sequence also. And as per that it will create the object from loft. In same way you can create loft on some path also. I want to create some path on this ZY plane. I will change the plane to right. So XY will become vertical. Then I will create one path using line command. Give the first point, make ortho on. Give the second point, give the third point. Then press escape. Then fillet these two lines. Click on fillet. Give the radius. I want to give this 35. Enter. Then select the first line, select the second line. Then for path, this object needs to be connected. For that use the join command, click on this modify, click on join, select all the object, enter. Now this object is connected and become a single object. Press escape. Then create one profile below. Again I want to create one rectangular profile. Click on this rectangle. Give the first point. Now I want profile to be horizontal on top plane. Select here and click on this top. Click on this rectangle, give the first point, give the second point. Then move this rectangle, give M, enter, select this rectangle, enter, give the base point. I want the center of this rectangle at the end point of this line. Drag this midpoint, take your cursor to midpoint, don't click there and take your cursor at the center. It will track it and give the center point. Then put it on this end point of this line. Then again I want to create one profile here. So this profile will come on this ZX plane. For ZX plane click here and select the front. Then create one circle here. Give the circle command C enter. Give the end point. And give the radius how much you want. Then I need this object for other option also. Give the copy command, CO enter, select the object, enter, then make orthon and keep one copy here. Press escape. Then connect this object using loft. Click on loft, select the cross section, this one to be connected with this one. Then press enter. Then I want to connect this 
on this path click on this path option select the path make the grid off and if you want to make this hollow then click on this shell here select the 3d solid then click on this face to be removed this face and bottom face enter give the thickness suppose it is 1 enter and escape here is hollow part is created then one more option is guide curves in here i want one rectangular profile give the erase command e enter select the circle enter create one rectangle here then move this rectangle m enter select the object enter then track the midpoints give this as a base point give this as a second point then i want to connect these two profile on some path now this path will be on this yz plane so i will change the plane to right then i want to create path using polyline click on this polyline give the first point give the second third and fourth point enter again one more polyline here enter give the start point second point and third point enter then this polyline i need to be in spline shape click on this polyline then right click click here and select this spline fit so this polyline will be converted into spline again select this polyline right click click here on polyline and click on this spline fit then again click on loft then select the cross section this one to be connected with this one enter then i want to connect as per this guide curves click on these guides select this guide curve and select this guide curve then press enter so this object is created using guide curves thanks for watching we will stop here